Reporting the news can be a risky job if you are up against the powerful, and statistics tell you the same. On average, one journalist has been murdered every four days in the last decade. Many of these journalists were killed in countries with no armed conflict. More than 12,000 journalists have been assassinated between 2006 and 2020 for just doing their job. UNESCO Observatory for Killed Journalists say, says that the killers walk free in 9 out of 10 cases. These statistics paint a gloomy picture for freedom of the press. Now, to raise awareness and formulate ways to counter these incidents, the United Nations General Assembly declared today, November the 2nd, as International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists. The resolution passed in the General Assembly in 2013 not only condemns all such attacks on journalists, but also urged all member nations to protect journalists from threats to their lives and ensure that the victims get access to the required remedies. And joining me from New York via Skype is a journalist, Africa-related Oiza Daba. Good to have you join us. Thank you for having me. So when you when you look at these figures, um, more than two, it says more than twelve thousand journalists have been assassinated between two thousand and six and twenty twenty. Um, what does that say to you? How do you interpret this? Like you rightly said, uh, the United, uh, United Nations uh, declared today the International Day to End Impunity against crimes, um, for crimes against journalists. The problem is the, the, high, the, the impunity part of it is what is on the rise. The crimes actually have been down. The figures you uh, quoted between 2006 and 2020, if you look at it uh, periodically with a uh, five years breakdown, the 2016 to 2020 figures were significantly lower than the first five years. But does that make the situation better? Because the impunity of it, while the figures are down by 20%, the impunity of it is of, of it all is what is high, and that is by 80, staggering 87%. And um, what is this impunity where governments and people that perpetrate uh, crimes against journalists actually get away with it? And um, in the last five years and in the last um, um, five years we've seen that uh, over and over again in in some of these countries and some of the countries that are um, that have the highest rate of these killings mind you these are killings not um, harassment um, uh, the continents are Asia uh, Latin America and the Caribbean and also the Middle East. Africa is a little bit down in the numbers, about 37. It's not good enough, but there are about 37 out of these 400 killings that um, uh, you have mentioned. And um, out of that 37, um, we have six from Nigeria, six killings from Nigeria. And these are figures between 2006 and 2000, I'm, I'm sorry, between 2015 and 2020. In the last year, however, due to COVID-19, uh, we saw the threat um, that the pandemic posed, especially to journalists, that, that was even further um, highlighted um, during the protest, which is what prompted the Secretary General, um, Antonio Guterres, to say that journalists are being detained and being killed for doing their jobs, um, covering this protest and, sorry, cover, covering the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, saw another side to, to this threat against, uh, the, uh, uh, against the profession, whereby uh, journalists reporting on numbers of, of, of COVID-19, which was still very novel and still very new at the time, uh, mm. were being harassed and detained. And um, as the figures state, only nine out of 10 of these uh, killings are, are brought to justice. Mm. And, 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 and uh, uh, Oisa, that's the, the shocking part of, of that statistics where um, just out of, out of 10, nine of them, you know, and uh, walk freely. Nothing happens. And I guess that's because of, uh, of those who are perpetrating these heinous crimes are also in the corridors of power. Uh, this is the, that in itself becomes the, an extreme form of media censorship, isn't it? 
Absolutely. Um, with this year, the Secretary General also called on member states uh, to stand in solidarity with journalists and to demonstrate uh, the political will investigate um, and prosecute these crimes. So you, you see it in that statement, in the political will from the governments, because the UN is talking to itself. It's talking to its 190-plus um, member nations um, about this. These are countries that are members of the of, of, of the United Nations. So um, you you see that um, th this is very very serious and um, it's something that is ongoing. And, uh, uh, you find also that um, one of the areas that was reported in this um, in this inside paper is harassment against women journalists and that is a new uh, it's not, it's not entirely new but out of the 400 you mentioned 37 of them were women and that accounts for about nine percent but you may also ask the figure might be low. It may be because, you know, well, women are not assigned to some of these um, very uh, serious cases or very, um, like, crime or politics. And, you know, um, they may not also have editorial uh, privileges like, like, like the men do. And even in Nigeria, we saw, um, even this year, at the uh, NSAS protests in, in um, the Remembrance, where the Arise news uh, Arise correspondent was being harassed, so it is it it hasn't stopped, it hasn't ended online, or it's even another way. And one of the um, the the TV and print journalists are most vulnerable to this um, this type of killings and harassments. Um, it, Maria Ressa, who is the Nobel Peace Prize laureate in in 2021, the Philippines um, Rappler journalist. She had over 2.5 million, 2.5 mm. million um, social media posts harassing her. So, they, they, you know, it's it's ongoing. But again, what are the remedies here? They're calling on member nations um, to adopt some of the other holistic approaches like hotlines, trainings, capacity building, um, advocacy and awareness, and also most importantly, universal periodic review of these type of cases. Mm -hmm. uh, UNESCO does this every two years and um, they're asking for the world to continue in that line. Absolutely, and, and I guess that we all, uh, as journalists, we have to continue to speak up about this. Thank you so much. Um, or is a journalist Africa related? Or is a Daba? Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.